YouTube, it's me again. I hope you're doing well. I've missed you all. We're about to get a thunderstorm, so you might see it. <laughs> and it's about to rain, so I'm gonna open, since I'm on my sister's balcony. Um, this is, uh, this whole street is a apartment, so it might get noisy, I'll pause it if I have to. Um, welcome to New York, it's loud here. <laughs> We're starting off with the Zodiac Oracle. Again, this is going to be a love reading collective. I don't know what love topic it will be. We'll get into it. My hair is crazy. I've been up since 2.40 a.m. I worked from 5 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So, sorry. I look like shit because it's been a long day. <laughs> All right. What do we have for the collective about love today? <laughs> Earth coming on the hello fellow earth signs. <laughs> I have a lot of earth in my chart. Everybody has everything in their chart, but I have heavy earth. And I think water. Ooh, Virgo. Hello, fellow Virgo. I am also a Virgo. <laughs> Cusper. With Leo. Virgo Leo Cusper. Are you a Cusper out there? Let me know in the comments. I love my fellow Cuspers. A cusper is somebody who has an astrology sign and and start in the same week of their birth. Pluto. Ooh. Oh no, Virgos out there. Pisces. Water sign stepping on the table. I don't know why. I just heard Poseidon. Got a Percy Jackson in the house. <laughs> Sagittarius, fire, earth, fire, and water. This is collective, so I'm going to get quite a few out here. Take only what resonates to you. Could be your person, could be you. We have Uranus. Scorpio. Capricorn. Ooh, and Leo. Hello, fellow Leos. Like I said, I'm a cusper. Leo ends and Virgo begins in the same week of my birth. We'll get one more. Moon. Ah, oh, I heard one more. Okay. Mars and Jupiter. So they gave me two. I'm trying to make it complicated for us out there. All right. So this could be your sign, your person's sign, or in your chart for actual signs we have. Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn. So Earth, Fire, Water. Air, you could still be in here. Might come out later. All right, so let's talk about energies. If none of these si birth signs are yours, I'm going to talk about the energies. Again, collective, take what resonates. Earth, there's a grounding in this love connection. Um... I feel like you're either, for some of you, are in separation or not in communication, doing that inner healing work, grounding yourselves at this time. Virgo is analyzing what is this connection, what does it mean, where is it going. Pisces is deep um, spiritual and emotional connection. I feel like you're both fighting it, <laughs> but you're feeling it. We have Sagittarius um, trying to be smart, but driven more by your passion. It's like... If you're somebody who's very logical and needs to make a logical decision, your passions are outweighing your logic. They're being more pushy, um, pulling you towards this love interest. Capricorn, um, you could be stalking them. They could be stalking you. Uh, Co-dependency, a lot of sexual tension in this time as well. Leo is encouragement, trying to gain that um, strength. And Scorpio... I heard staking your claim. Either one, either you want to stake your claim with someone or someone wants to stake their claim with you. We have eight. This could be a past life connection as well. All right, let's get into the other cards. We have Pluto, Mars, and Uranus, and Jupiter. So four planets, which makes sense. We got a lot of signs. Um, Pluto, to me, is, again, referencing separation. Um, one or both of you could have 
froze each other out, blocked each other, um, bitter resentment here or feeling left out or feeling like forgotten about. Um, this could be your feelings, it could be your person's. Jupiter is again really trying to gain that wisdom through experience. Um, maybe an uh, experience you had with this person either in this life or in the next wasn't very good. Something bad could have happened. It's like you're thinking about ways to either communicate about this or fix it. Again, if that's not you, it could be your person. Uranus, there's a lot of stubborn energy here. I just heard, don't be an ass. And I always hear that in the love reading. So I feel like this is talking about stubborn pride here. It could have been an ego, either you or your person. Mars, I feel like there's a battle here. It could be a battle of words, um, complications, people getting in the way, a lot of roadblocks. And Moon... Um, there's illusions here. You don't know their feelings. They don't know yours. Um, maybe they don't know that you like them or vice versa. Um, but there's... Also, we do have a full moon coming up. If you're trying to manifest, that could be appropriate time to work on love manifestations or moon magic. But um, to me, this talks about just trying to see the truth in yourself and also wanting to... Four and one makes five. Wanting to change it. Coming out of the thought. Like not just thinking about it. Wanting to actually ask each other what your truth is. Alright. Let's get into romance angels. Since it's raining, I'm opening them up one at a time so they don't get soaked if I gotta move fast. using a little stool as my table. Ooh, we have attraction coming up. So yeah, I feel like you're both with that Capricorn energy. You're both very sexually attracted to each other, um, but you are in separation. There's no physical touching here or anything, but you both want it at this time. Ooh, release your ex. You need to... Um, this could be you, the viewer. This could be your person. There's a third party in the mix here. Um, or one or both of you is currently leaving their ex or just did. You're in separation because I feel like, like I said, either you or your person or both of you were, were with karmics. Um, one or both of you may still need to release an ex for this to come into fruition and come out of separation. Healing family issues. Okay, so you could, with this release your ex, you could have children with them. You could be trying to fix that for the sake of your kids. Or this is like childhood wounds. You're, you or your person could be trying to heal or family complications um, or any issues with your family or theirs could be in the way right now. I just feel like this might be for those who co parent but this, you both feel like this relationship, this connection is worth waiting for. I think you're both waiting for each other. And we have past life relationships. So you've lived more than one life with this person. Let's go on to some thoughts and feelings from your person. We're going to start with messages of love or cards. All of these you can get on Amazon, by the way. A few shuffles. All right. <laughs> they almost popped. We'll see. Yep. Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. That third party energy. Somebody needs to make a decision or is making a decision about a third party, staying or going. It's time to decide about this relationship. So your person could be deciding either to continue waiting out, for, waiting for you, or I don't know why I wanted to say waiting out. I don't know what that means. Um, but there's interference. I'm getting a couple of things, so I'm going to say them all. For some of you... I feel like one of you left a relationship, the other one hasn't, and it's like that interference is because the other one hasn't, 
and they need to make a decision whether they're picking you or them or vice versa. For some of you, it's like you're clouded, like you can't make a decision between two love interests. You might actually love two people and you the interference of this spiritual connection coming together is because you have to make a decision between a karmic and a partner, like a soul partner. Or some of you, your person or you has already made the decision, but they can't move on from to do that in decision because they're dealing with a third party. This could be someone they have kids with, someone they're married to, but they can't just like up and go if they want. They This could be saying they made a decision to come towards you, but there's interference in them coming towards you. Take what resonates to you. Explain to me about this decision. Let's see if we can get a little bit of clarity for the collective. Please and thank you. Spirit. Ooh, an apology. Either you feel like you owe them an apology for a past decision, or they feel like they owe you an apology. Because there was interference in your connection before. It's like um, either you chose the wrong one or they did. It's collective. I'm going to say it both ways because I don't know which one of you is watching. And you both need a message in it. Self-care. Yeah, right now you're both in separation working on... Um, yourselves especially your person maybe they set some boundaries with you they could have been a little <laughs> little frosty they were teaching you a spiritual lesson and they were learning a spiritual lesson so i do feel like there was a little bit of shaky water but now it looks pretty like stability is coming back like you're both grounding yourself i kind of feel like you're preparing for each other if that makes sense Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Children are important to this partnership. So you could have children together already. Or you could have children in the future. Um, or you have children now. Um, and it could be like a step-parent thing that's going to be very important to your lives. But I think you need to bring the light energy back. I think you're both very serious with this play hard. You're like focusing on the things that hurt and went wrong and not really moving forward. So, there it was again. I wanted to come out. Yeah, there's a lot of obstacles yet. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Exactly. Could, with this children, it could be childhood wounds. Um, it could be like a marriage breaking up, trying to co-parent. That's a big obstacle and why a relationship wouldn't come together. Uh, maybe just be friends first. Or maybe your person can only offer you friendship right now. Or vice versa. Let's get some more messages. We'll go to The Hidden Truth, Volume 2. That's the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Edition. I on these little bags. <laughs> That's what the box looks like. You can also get these on Etsy too, but I got this on Amazon, it's a little bit cheaper than Etsy. What does the collective person feel or want to say right now? I have too much to lose. Oof. They feel like you'd be at a ginormous risk. I see life differently now. They're not the person that they were, either in a past life or in a past situation. I don't want to know. They don't want to know what you're doing. <laughs> um, they're upset with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but I don't feel like it's anger, like, ah, I hate you. This is about hurt. You could be the one with a third party that isn't letting them go and moving on. That could be hurtful for them. Let me clarify. What's this I don't want to know? Let's see if we can get some more. What do they mean by, I can, I can be myself with you. <laughs> they want, they don't want to know that you're going to drive well, because I feel like, your person's kind of 
they're in her energy or they they don't trust you it could be one or both like i said this is not hate this is not something that can't change but they have their guard up they don't want to see or know how well incompatible you two are because i feel like they might cave or crumble if they did they're trying to be tough here they're trying to have that shield up like i don't need you i don't like you i don't want you but they do <laughs> What's this? I see life differently now. If we can get a clarifier here. I would do it all again. This person sees the values and mistakes. Like, although some things probably went pretty shitty for them, for the most part, they feel like they are the best, not in an egotistical way, not like, oh, I'm all about me, but they feel like this is the best version of themselves. This person has done a lot of spiritual healing and a lot of, I feel like, has a, a pretty tough life and has overcome a lot. Like, they just see thing, different things that aren't important to others that are important to them. Um, they're very mature. It's not material. It's not, like, status chasing or anything. Anytime you get a beep and then a siren, it could be a tornado. Ooh, we're getting soaked, guys. Let me move you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We're back. <laughs> Had to move a little. I also had to move our cards, so I'm just going to start over with the same deck and see what else we get for you. I have trouble with intimacy and you broke my heart. Yeah, this person's scared to give you their heart. They don't trust you. They're they're guarded. I think this has a lot to do with past life. It could have been in this life as well. But it's like... I don't know why I'm he hearing this. But <laughs> it's like... I do think they have issues with sex as well I'm not like gonna get too much into that I just feel like that part of intimacy is troublesome for them but also and hey I feel you up there whoever that is but um I just feel like it's past life I heard you destroyed me over and over and over They want you back, though. My sister's home. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kai Kai! Are you in the rain? Come and get inside. Your mommy's gonna be mad. <laughs> I love you. Come upstairs. You had fun? Why not you? Hi, Danielle. <laughs> Are you dying? <laughs> She's preggers. All right. Ooh, I watch your social media, so they look at your social media. I miss seeing you, but I don't think you've been on your social media. And they're like, uh, hello, where are you? <laughs> That's their vibes. They feel the sexual pull, and that makes them nervous. One second. 